Hey everyone, Chaotic Sully here. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about Minecraft Squared, the new site, some issues people have been having, and in general what my plans for the future of Minecraft Squared are. And I also want to be doing more of these videos, as I know I've posted two and then just kind of stopped. Uh, so I want to try to do this a little bit more frequently. It might not be weekly, it might be monthly or so. Um, but as I have stuff to talk about, I definitely want to post more videos. Um, just to keep an open line of communication between me and the community. Also, so I know what you guys are thinking, you'll have um, more of a recent place to post your comments than posting them on the old videos where things are kind of out of context and don't make any sense. Um, so, first order of business, I want to just talk about Internet Explorer. Now, I've had a couple people email me or post in the user report forum that I have up right now about Internet Explorer not working. Now, this isn't me just being, you know, unfair or any more colorful word you could put towards it. Internet Explorer really just does not work. And it's the only browser that does not work. Um, and I can show you why. So, in general, this is, alright, so first of all, this is Internet Explorer 10. This is the browser, um, this is a version of Internet Explorer that worked the best with my chapter squared, but it still is broken. Um, so I can show you that my chapter squared. This is the error page that you get. It actually only loads in Internet Explorer 10. That's how broken the site is in the other Internet Explorers. This page won't even load. Um, so I know it's a little cheeky with my linking off to this page, but that's just me being cheeky. Uh, just to prove this point here, um, if I change my user string to Chrome and then I try to go to the home page. In Internet Explorer 10, this page loads and works fine, which is why I might start letting Internet Explorer 10 through, but the reason why I don't even let it through is because I'd rather get a couple of emails about people complaining that IE 10 is not, that IE in general is not working, versus the people that are running IE 10 complain about little tiny features not working constantly, because they're not going to work. Um, I'm not going to spend the time fixing one feature here or there for one browser when it works everywhere else, and I barely have the time to even add new features into the site. So I'd rather move forward and get the features out there for you guys to use than waste my time spinning my wheels trying to fix Internet Explorer. So um, this is, again, this works the best out of the rest of the IEs, but it's still broken. The real page that is broken is the skins page. That's it. <laughs> Nothing loads. So this is why I block IE. Uh, to just show you what this looks like in IE 9 even. One version ago, which most people aren't even on IE 9 yet. Most people are on IE 8. If you go to IE 9, it gets more broken. Go to the server list. It's broken. Um, hold on, I think the user agent root. Yep, it went back. So Google Chrome, server list. Nothing loads. Home page, nothing loads. So this is why I blocked IE. If there's a web developer out there that wants to make Minecraft Squared work with IE, be my guest. That is something that I just don't have the time to spend on, but if you have the time to and want to, please, it'll help everyone out. I, I'm, I'm just personally sorry that I don't have the time to work on it. I would love to have the time to do this. It just, I really don't. Um, unfortunately. So that's Internet Explorer. So now that's out of the way. The, one of the other things I want to do is demo the new site before I talk about some other stuff. So there's a couple little features that I'm not sure if anyone knows about. Now on the server list, um, I think most people just view this page and scroll through the servers. What you can do is actually click through a server on the name and you get to this awesome page. It'll tell you who's currently online, and it will give you their skins image. And it will also tell you what mods the server is using, what version of uh, what version of what software they're using. Um, so this is my server. Um, I have Bucket installed um, with these plugins that are I use for helping to moderate. Uh, it tells you if it's online, offline. This gives you all these statistics. This page I plan on beefing up a ton in the future, um, and it's going to get really neat. Uh, but this is just all I did for now. Now on the skins page, 
something that I'm not sure if people know about, which if you've uploaded a skin, you do know about it. But if you click on the name, you get through to the skins page. And it's fully just 3D. You can move it around. Um, you can now download the skins, which is something I added recently. And then it also lists out the tags. I'm just going to plead with you guys to add good tags, because the better tags you add, the better search is going to be once I get once I get that implemented. Um, because the way a search is going to work is, depending on what you type into the search box, it's going to scan those words for either skin titles or skin um, keywords or tags, as I'm calling them. And that's all. Um, maybe usernames for who uploaded them, um, so you can search for like someone's username and it'll pull up all their skins, things like that that I can do. Um, but if you guys don't add good tags, then search is not going to work properly. So it's on you guys to make search good, essentially. Um, and then that's that's pretty much it. Um, the other thing I want to talk about in general to let you guys know about is the advanced launcher. I did not make this. This is another developer who I've been in contact with has made this and did a phenomenal job on it. Um, I linked to theirs here, to, uh, to his launcher here, but down in the other link section there's the advanced launcher homepage, and this has all the information you need to get it running. So I think if you're just normally using My Chapter Squared, you just download it and run it normally, it'll work fine. But in order to get Forge or Feed the Beast or Technic working, there's some instructions that you need to do to get them working. Some are more complicated than others, but they do work. So for all of you who wanted different mods working with MyChapter Squared, there you have it. So now, let's see, what else? Um, oh, and the Trollet launchers. So these launchers, I don't know if they're updated. I'm not sure if this has happened yet. I'm not sure when he's going to, if he's going to. I have had no contact with him. So I apologize if you like these launchers, but I do not know when they will support the new site or if they even do right now. Um, and I haven't had contact with him. I don't know even how to get in contact with him. So troll it if you hear this and you want to let me know, feel free to email me or post on this video uh, what your status is with your launchers. Um, otherwise, I think that's it for the new site. Um, only other thing that I want to show you is what I have made on the community site so far. So, I'm currently working on a forum system. This is a very rough idea of what it's going to be. Um, the general idea is you can create a topic and create a posting about the topic. I have no idea. It'll be up to you guys for how you want to use it, really. I'm just going to create a very bare bones system, watch how you guys use it, and then modify it and morph it and evolve the system um, to, and tailor to how you want to use it. So it's going to be very much an experiment, and it's going to change a lot very quickly once it launches. Um, I hope to have something up soon, but I don't know exactly when I'll be able to get it finished. Um, I just got a lot of work. Um, for my graduate classes, so I'm not sure exactly when I'll be able to get to this. But the general idea is topics will show up here with the user, uh, the user's skin's face um, right here, just like on the server list page. And then um, the comments will be here. I hesitate to call them comments because it's going to be more like a forum, like, you know, responding to a post with another post. So I might change that word to make it a little bit clearer, but essentially when you click there, it'll drop down all the responses. Or if you click on the title of the post, it'll bring you to a dedicated page that'll give you a lot more information about the thread. Um, I also plan on doing a list view, which will just be more forum-like and just list the forum titles that you can click through. So it'll be a lot more condensed. Um, but I'll, I'll see. I'm going to play with a couple things, get this out there, see how you guys use it, and then evolve it from there. So that's really the plan for the community aspect of MindChapter Squared. And just so you guys know, I want to try to push it more towards the social network. Not like Facebook or Google+, Plus, though. I don't want to do friends lists. I don't want to do that sort of stuff. I want it to be more like um, everyone that's part of MindChapter Squared is on one giant friends list, essentially. You can all communicate with each other, post 
um, comment. Um, I might do more of a chat room sort of page as well uh, for you guys to just be able to talk to each other in more real time. But those are all still things I'm experimenting with. But I definitely want to push it in the direction of a social network. Um, but nothing crazy like Facebook. Just something that's very simple for you to connect with other Minecraft players. It's really all I'm going for. But I hope you guys like this. And please let me know what you think about this community page. And I'll probably share a few more videos of it before it launches so you guys can see how it's shaping up. And tell me what you want out of the community page. Because if you tell me earlier on what you're going to use it for, I'll be able to start tailoring it to those use cases now versus trying to push it in one direction or another once it's out there. Because unfortunately, once you start using it, I'm a little limited in what I can do. Because once the data is in there in the database and it's working with the system, it's going to be very hard for me to change things on the back end. Um, I can add functions, um, but removing functionality or changing how the database works is going to be very difficult once it's live. So if there's any crazy ideas you guys have, please post them now, and I'll be able to get to them and implement them, um, or at least build the compatibility into the back end so I can expand to those features as we move forward. Um, but that's my general plan for Mineshaft or Squared, is turn it more into a social network and heavily integrate the community page throughout the whole site. And I have a couple ideas on how to do that, um, but I'm not sure how they're going to work quite yet. Um, and the other thing for you server admins out there that I want to do is um, on the server list page, I plan on beefing this up a ton. And for server admins, I, I plan on really doing server management tools in here. And I'm actually working with one of my friends right now, and we're probably going to build a Minecraft server a management API uh, that I'm going to use and he's going to use for his service. And we might even just partner up and I might just, you know, automatically automate the creation of the page on his service for you guys or something along those lines. Well, we're still working out the details on that. But um, otherwise, I think that's it. If you have any questions or comments in general, please feel free to post them. I like all feedback, positive and negative. I like criticism just as much as uh, you know praise or letting me know that you like something. Um, but please keep it civil. Don't just all caps yell out something that's wrong. Just if you don't like something or you found a problem, just let me know about it. Don't you know? Don't all caps it and yell or whatnot. Just be nice about it and let me know, and if I can get around to fixing it, I will. But just keep in mind, I'm, I'm taking five graduate courses right now, so my schedule's a bit packed. Um, and this is just something I, I try to do in my free time. I was able to get the new site out because I had winter break. Um, I might be able to do a lot more once spring break comes in a few weeks, but for right now, I can barely spend much time on this every week. Um, so just keep that in mind. I will be posting more videos uh, to update you guys um, as I move forward. So I think that's all I have to say for right now. Um, I hope you guys like my chapter squared and like where things are headed because um, I'm pretty excited about where they're headed. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time.